What's up, human race and all nearby galaxies? Laptop nuts in the house. Today, I would like to go over Samsung Galaxy Book 3 Ultra. As usual, I would like to remove the laptop out of the box, do a quick review, and I'm very, very anxious to see how everything looks inside. So we're gonna remove the bottom case to see what's happening there, what we can repair, what we can upgrade, and so on and so forth. So stay tuned, let's go. Personally, I love Samsung laptops for their very sleek design, but this is very, very sexy. I mean, look at this machine. First of all, the laptop was made with the largest in its family 16 inch 3K AMOLED display with 120 Hertz of refresh rate. And look at the touchpad, man, you can play football on it. This is ridiculous, it's, it's really big. So they actually claim that touchpad, it's larger by 39% from the previous versions. A laptop does not really have much of different configurations to choose from. So you can go either with Core i7 13 generation and a very powerful RTX 4050 graphics card or you can go even a step higher with a Core i9 13 generation and RTX 4070. There are only two options in terms of memory RAM. You can go either 16 gig or 32, the DDR5. And there is only option for the storage. It's up to one terabyte. Laptop has a very long lasting battery. Samsung claims actually it can hold up to 17 hours. I would like to mention a few words about the power adapter. Look at, look at this one. It's very, very convenient, very small. I mean, fairly heavy, but compared to any other competition uh, where you're gonna have this 20 ton block, this is pretty much nothing. It's like a phone charger, but it does have an option for a fast charger as well. Pretty amazing. And of course, for like any other Samsung device, it will have a seamless pairing with any other Galaxy family. So in terms of dimensions, Basically, the laptop is actually under four pounds, which is 1.8 kilograms, and it's only 16 and a half millimeters thick, which is about 5 eighths of an inch. I mean, this is amazing. Laptop has a FHD front webcam, and it also has amazing quad speakers sound. The only thing that I cannot understand why this machine made with a non-touch screen because pretty much all Samsung products which I've previously reviewed and had my hands on, they all had a touch screen, but this one doesn't have it for some reason. So maybe anybody can share uh, in the comments about their thoughts, uh, what was the reason. Anyway, let's remove the bottom case to see what's happening inside. Let's go. All right, friends, as usual, we always starting from the bottom case to take the laptop apart. As you can see here, the screws are hiding under four rubber feet. So once you carefully remove the rubber feet, never try to force anything, first of all. So once you try to pull them out, you would be able to see the actual screws. It's just a basic micro Phillips. So there is no special tools needed for that matter. And once I'm done with the screws, I will be using my pry tool and carefully pop one of the corners. Very important. Do not ever pop the bottom case from the front. Always do that from the rear where the LCD screen is connected. The reason why is up front, there are internal hinges which holding the bottom case and palm rest together. So if you start trying to pull it from there, you're gonna damage them. And once you're gonna disassemble the laptop back, they will not align properly. And it's gonna be a problem. You would have to replace the bottom case. Here, as you can see, I'm using my hands and working my way out. And it's fairly easy, it popped out. 
here it is oh my god so sexy look at this man few good very good things that i want to point out as you can see here the wi-fi is located on the daughter board along with a usb port which is a very good thing so if in case any of them fail you don't have to replace expensive motherboard and here is the actual motherboard uh, there are uh, two usb type c ports and actually full hdmi port which is really amazing as you can also see there is a secondary slot for the drive so you can actually upgraded the sky is the limit for ssd here what else here is the battery again uh, as uh, samsung claims it can hold up to 17 hours the laptop has amazing sound with the four speakers on it and just as a reference i'm gonna take the ssd out it's fairly easy process so if in case you need to replace it currently laptop has only one terabyte but again you can upgrade it as well you pretty much stuck with a uh, memory ram it's built into the motherboard so you can go either 16 gig or 32 and that should do it so thank you very much for watching peace and love